Dr. Unziger, your attacks against the experts of modern physics are quite harsh. You call high energy physicists particle accountants, describe the research field of string theory as a sect, and you say that the theory of cosmic inflation is malarkey. Are you just trying to start trouble? It's true that my book is more outspoken than others, but uh, there are many scientists who perfectly agree with the content. And um, my real interests are the fundamental questions of physics. I'm, I'm concerned that these unsolved problems are forgotten among today's absurdities. Einstein's famous theory boils down to the simple formula E equals mc squared. But modern theories seem much more complicated. Why is that? We have a huge amount of data, but physicists just can't digest it anymore in terms of theoretical understanding and uh, patch up the existing models, making them increasingly more complicated. But Isaac Newton said, truth is ever found in simplicity, never in the multiplicity and confusion of things. And today's theories are heading towards such a confusion. Can you give an example? Take the currently favored model of cosmology. It appears that the expansion rate of the universe is accelerating. And we describe this by a new parameter, which you can fit to the observations. But to allow such a new parameter, to allow such a complication, is a methodological but couldn't it be that we need complicated theories to describe a complicated world? That could be, but the real revolutions in physics have always simplified the existing laws. And uh, I think it's the business of a physicist to give explanations, not excuses. Today, many people are postulating new particles and fields just for everything they don't understand. It's like paying by printing money. Your book. Bankrupting physics plays a lot with these economic metaphors. Where do you see a bankruptcy? There are many theories that have lost contact to experiment. They are not testable anymore. And they are really like huge speculation bubbles. These theories are like debt-funded junk companies in that they, they can't pay off by experiment. But the crash will come. Can you give an example of a bankrupt theory? There are plenty. Take uh, parallel universes, extra dimensions, but also the theory of cosmic inflation, which says that the universe has expanded by a huge factor in its very first moments. But what is exceptional that such a banal idea got the publicity it got? There's just no evidence for it whatsoever. It's, it's baloney. Do you mean to say that there was no Big Bang? I wouldn't go that far. We know that the universe was smaller, denser, and more homogeneous in the past, but um, all, all that fits to the idea of the Big Bang. But all these fancy stories about the first seconds, no. Okay, well, isn't it true that we have much more precise knowledge about the cosmos now? The telescopes deliver fantastic data, but uh, there are a lot of riddles we really don't understand. We don't know how galaxies formed. We don't understand all the structure that had formed in the universe. Dark matter was called in, and now we need another thing which is still more exotic, dark energy, which we still don't understand. We still don't understand. And uh, the more tinkering you do, the more fragile the whole building becomes. That's what history tells us. Your message seems to be that Einstein's theories were clear and simple, and modern theories are complicated and murky. You're not suggesting that today's physicists are idiots, are you? No. Uh, the astronomers in the Dark Ages weren't fools either. But, uh, they had blinders on, and they refused to throw overboard a model which has been established for generations. Today we are in a very similar situation. There's a lot of parity in physics. If you work on something fashionable, you will easily make friends. But if you challenge an established concept, then you will have a lot of enemies. 
The two most important theories in physics, Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics, are both excellently tested. So what's the problem? The problem is, well, general relativity describes the universe at the large scale, and quantum mechanics deals with the micro world of atomic physics, and both theories are very successful. But their mathematics is, is desperately incompatible. So one of the theories has to be wrong. The proponents of superstring theory claim that they can reconcile this contradiction. They believe that particles consist of vibrating strings in higher dimensions. Isn't that a solution? Richard Feynman, one of the most brilliant physicists, once said, I strongly believe that all this is nonsense. And he turned out to be completely right, because literally nothing has resulted from the both claims. They claim that the Large Hadron Collider at CERN might find evidence for it. That's just propaganda. String theory hasn't made a single testable prediction in all these years. Also, many people at CERN think it's crap, but they prefer to stay quiet, because it would irritate too much the public who might quest the huge cost of the Large Hadron Collider. Well, CERN has discovered the long sought after Higgs boson last year. Isn't that a great achievement? No, the analysis is really questionable. It's like uh, claiming you found one more drop of water in a swimming pool than there was supposed to be. We just don't know the physics that precisely. Well, doesn't the Higgs at least confirm the standard model of particle physics? Look, the standard model of particle physics is ridiculously complicated and it sweeps under the rug all the problems that Einstein and, and Dirac had bothered some 80 years ago. They would, they would consider the Higgs boson just an utter absurdity. It's easier to criticize than to offer an alternative. Do you have one? I think that there are very interesting ideas Einstein, Dirac, and Dickey, and we should reconsider them. But I think physics has first to get rid of its stupors. The philosopher Karl Popper once said, We know nothing, this is the first, therefore we should be very modest, this is the second, and uh, not to claim we know when we don't know, this is the third. That's the attitude I'd like to popularize. There is little hope for success. Thank you.